Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Dr. Arpita De. The topic for today's discussion is Taxonomy, Family, Rutesi. So, Family Rutesi is also known as the Citrus Family. All our known citrus fruits like oranges, lemon, they all belong to this family. Its economic importance is also widespread. Right? Okay, so let's get started. We'll start with its classification. I mean systematic position. It belongs to the class Dicotyledony subclass, polypetaly, series, discliflory, order, gentianales, and family rutaceae. Habit is mostly perennial trees. Some woody shrubs are also found. Trees, example of uh, tree members in Rutaceae families, Aegil marmalos, which is commonly known as bale. Then some citrus species have shrubby appearance. Then some citrus species are also tree in nature. Shrub, Moraya exotica. Glycosmus herb is Ruta graviolens. Root is fibrous taproot system. Though it's taproot, but it's fibrous in nature. Stem is woody, spiny, cylindrical. You can see the trees here. See, it's an orange tree. The stem is cylindrical. You can see here it's woody and spiny also like spiny stem is very much prominent in todalia species todalia asiatica it's very spiny next coming to the leaf characters leaves are petiolate alternate or opposite simple or compound stipules are absent hence extipulate venation is reticulate Presence of gland-dotted leaves. These make the leaf aromatic. If you crush a lemon leaf and smell it, you can get a beautiful aroma. Okay. Presence of lysogenous cavity with volatile oils. Then, see these lysogenous cavity with volatile oil is very common to all of us. All of you must have uh, tried this in your childhood days. You must have uh, pressed a lemon uh, an orange peel near your friend's eye to irritate them. This is the reason why it causes irritation to your eyes. These volatile oils. Opposite uh, phyllotaxy is seen in melicope. Unifoliate compound leaves are seen in citrus. Winged petiole is seen in citrus. And trifoliate leaves are seen in agin. Those leaves which, is, which are popularly known as bilba patre. See, trifoliate leaves in eagle, these are considered to be holy. They are used in worshipping, in, in religious purposes, worshipping Lord Shiva. And see, winged petiole in citrus. Okay. Next, we'll come to the inflorescence. Terminal or axillary signs or panicle. Corimbo signs are seen in Moraya. Flowers are pedicillate, that means stalk is present. Bracteate or ebracteate, actinomorphic, regular, complete, hermaphrodite. Hypoga hermaphrodite means, I hope you know, bisexual class. Hypogynous, that is uh, ovary superior, pentamerous, cyclic, diclamidious, and 
An exception here is unisexual flowers are found in Todalia. That means male and female flowers are separate. See, you have a flowering branch here. You can see the leaflet. It is gland dotted, though it's not too clear over here. Inflorescence is also present over here. The leaves, the cylindrical stem with flower buds and everything. The leaves you have just seen. Next, coming to the floral characters, calyx. Four to five. Free or united, estivation is imbricate and they are generally green in color. Corolla again, four to five, they are also free, that is polypetalous, gland dotted and estivation is imbricate. Stamens are twice the number of petals or so sometimes numerous. They are free or polyadelphous, numerous polyadelphous in citrus. Anthers are basic fixed with longitudinal dehiscence. That means it dehisces longitudinally through a longitudinal slit. Okay. See the flowers nicely. Taxonomy. Pivot surround. Beautiful. Diagram making skills. Whatever you study, whatever you observe in the given twig, try to represent the same on the paper through a beautiful diagram. Beautiful doesn't mean you'll have to show your artistic skills over here. You will have to be scientific and labelings will have to be extremely correct, proper, to the point. See, you can count the number of petals here. One, two, three, four, five petals. Here, you can see an entire flower here which is showing you the stigma, stamens, petals, sepal, everything that capitate type of a stigma. Then you can see the gynoecium over here, the pedicel, the thalamus, followed by a disc. And since it's superior ovary, you can see the ovary here, then style followed by stigma. This is the magnified view of the LS of a flower, diagrammatic representation. Now coming to carpels, carpels are also four to five or sometimes more. They are syncarpels, that means not free. Compound ovary, superior, hypogynous flower as we have just said, placentation is exile, style terminal and prominent with capitate stigmas. And stigma is sticky in nature. See, capitate stigma is so prominent here. See, fruits are berry in Moraya, hesperidium in citrus. Loculicidal capsule in chlorozylon. Seeds, many, endospermic and polyembryony in citrus species. You must have seen in oranges, lemon, seeds are many. It's not a one seeded fruit, right? Seeds are many. This is the floral diagram and the floral formula. Whenever you are studying a particular family, you must know about its floral diagram and how to represent the entire family character in the form of a diagram. You will have to know this, right? Okay. So this is how we come to the end of our lecture. Thank you so much for your kind attention. In case you have any doubts, confusion, please feel free to get back to me in the comment section. I will try my best to clear your doubts. Till then, thank you.